Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Marta and I am so happy to have you here. I have been wanting to share the best and worst products of e.l.f. Cosmetics for a while now and this is just my opinion. Some of these products might work different for you. You might love the ones I don't or hate the ones I love. But I am here just to tell you guys what I think about them. And I did realize I don't have that many products that I don't like because I really love e.l.f. Cosmetics. All of their products are vegan and cruelty free, super affordable, and they have most of the products are of great quality. There are a lot of products that I haven't tried and I won't be talking about all of the products that I've tried, just the ones I really love or the ones I would never recommend. Starting with this little guy here. This little guy right here, it's the Prep and Hydrate Balm. I really love it. It's a water-based primer that to me works so good, but it's weird because at first, I always apply it in cir circular motions directly on my skin like that, and at first it feels very sticky, like so uncomfortable kind of, but once I blend it out, I normally do it with my fingers or with a sponge. It like sinks into your skin and it feels so moisturizing and hydrating, which is really good if you're going to wear a lot of makeup. Or you can just wear it like that, I've worn it without any makeup at all and it gives you like a very nice glow. Like I said, it's very moisturizing, it's hydrating, and it creates that a very smooth canvas for makeup application. Next is this Matte Shimmer Lip Transformer Palette. First of all, oh my god! Ah! It's in my nail. Take a look at these shades. These are so gorgeous. They have four different palettes. Like I was saying, each palette has four different lip colors that you can mix or wear alone. And these are matte, but once you add this shimmer on top, it transforms into a shimmery gloss, which is awesome. Here is one example of a matte lipstick and one with the shimmer gloss on top. It's very cream, lightweight, and it really nourishes your lips. And it's very sheer, so it doesn't really change the lip color. They don't really last a long time, but if you use their lock-on lock lip primer, they will last you longer than normal. Not just with this lip palette, but with any lipstick. I don't use it with liquid lipsticks, but I haven't stopped using this ever since I first tried it. It does feel weird at first. It feels very super sticky on the lips, but once you apply the lipstick, it's not sticky at all. It feels very comfortable, like if you're not wearing the primer. This prevents any lipstick from fading or creasing. It really helps a lot. Moving on to their baked highlighters. I wanted to include these because a lot of people complain that they don't get any pigment and it's true. I don't really like the formula. Not just their baked highlighters, but their baked blushes and baked eyeshadow palettes because they're not really pigmented. Like this is their Blush Gems highlighter. If I swatch it, you don't really get enough, a lot of pigment. You can't really see it. But the way I do it is I scrape some of the product onto the lid and then I use the brush wet or I spray it with any setting spray and then I get the product from the cap and that's how I apply it. And you can see a huge difference in the pigment. Like this is their baked blush in pink diamonds and I also go on top of it with just my finger and you don't, you can't even see anything. But again, if I do the same thing, scrape it off, use a brush wet, I would get a lot, but I don't really like this because I don't use a lot of shimmery blushes. And if I do the same thing by scraping everything off, it would be a lot of pigment and I don't want to use it as a blush. So this is one I don't, um, I can, you can use it as a highlight, but I don't really like pink highlights. I like more um, bronzier highlights. I don't really go for this blush at all. Now the ones that I do reach for are their Prismatic Highlighting Palettes, which is what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing the Sirens Call, which is this one right here. These are nothing like their baked highlighters. These are creamy, they're pigmented, and they're not glittery at all. Let me just swatch it really quick. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It is super pigmented. And this is the other one. They have three different palettes. This one's the one I use for like, like everyday glam or soft natural look. And the other two are, if you want to be like creative, these are purple and blue shades. Beautiful palettes. These are pigmented, they're buildable, very easy to blend out without looking powdery. And I love that. Moving on. Now the next one is going to be the Sponge Trio, which I'm not a fan 
at all because I like the sponges to be soft. I only kept this small one. The other ones, they're too dense and these are white obviously. I tried washing it, not right after I use it. I always wait till I'm finished with everything and then I wash the sponges but it didn't come off at all. It's just like found the foundation. Ugh. The foundation just stayed in there. It didn't come off so I just threw them away but this one, this one's soft. And the sponge that I really, really love. This one is my favorite one. It comes with a silicone blender and highlighting sponge duo. I don't use a silicone. Not just the e.l.f. Cosmetics one, but any brand. I don't use that. I don't like how it blends out anything. So I just gave that one away. But this one, I'm not kidding when I say it's a lot softer and better than the Beauty Blender. And it's only $10. I just, I wish they would sell this one separate. So I wouldn't have to buy, to keep buying the, the whole silicone blender together. This is as big as it gets, which is pretty good. It's wet right now. I always wet it. I don't like to use it dry. And this is supposed to be for uh, powders to uh, apply your highlight, I guess. But I don't like doing that. I just use it to set my under eyes and uh, the round part to blend out concealer, foundation, or cream contour, just anything. It works so good. I highly recommend the sponge. Well, I don't know if it's better than the Beauty Blender, maybe just because it's bigger, but it feels, it really does feel a lot softer than the Beauty Blender. You guys should try it and let me know. The next one's going to be this Complete Coverage Concealer. I use the shade, or the palette in the shade Medium. So the three palettes all come with four different shades that you can, of course, mix and match. They're not full coverage, but you can add layers to get full coverage and they build, they build, they blend out very nice. They only have light, medium, and dark. I do wish that they had a lot more shades. I never touched these last three shades right here, only to swatch them earlier. The only one I use is this one right here, which is perfect for me. I just put it on my under eyes, and that's it. Okay, so this next one, I don't really want to use the word Hey, but this one really bothered me so much. It's their sweat resistant mascara and brow duo I used it for my top and bottom eyelashes. It is super sticky I thought I would have to wait for it to dry But I waited I had it on all day and it kept sticking to my top eyelashes It just it never dried up and it leaves your eyelashes very clumpy and I don't like that and for the eyebrow gel the brush just seems way too small i like the brushes to be thick so i can really get in my hairs but this i don't know i just i don't really like the brush it's not gonna work for me i don't think i'm ever gonna buy this mascara you might think it's different you probably just like to put a little bit of mascara i like to put a lot but yeah another big no is their waterproof liquid eyeliner first of all it is not waterproof the times i tried it i did the whole wing and everything and it was running in the corners right here and by the at the end of the day i had black right under my eyes right here and supposedly this one does not bleed but when i swatch it it does bleed not like it's not that bad but when it says it doesn't bleed it shouldn't bleed like this next eyeliner that I do love. This is called Expert Liquid Eyeliner. And I love this one because it's so easy to use. It doesn't bleed and it has a slightly shiny finish. I love that the applicator allows you to create a very sharp and pointy wing. You can create a very perfect wing with this. Next is this Matte for Matte eyeshadow palette. Oh my god, where to begin? The formula is amazing. They're not chalk chalky they're very blendable and i love that it has a lot of warm and it has deep colors so you can create a very gorgeous and natural look or a dramatic look like the one i have right now and i li i've literally used all of the eyeshadows here the last two right here i actually never touched before till today that's what i'm wearing on my eyes i just wanted to say that i've literally used all of them and now I have. And as you can see, they blend out very nice. I didn't have a lot of trouble blending them out. I just, I'm in love with the formula. I love it. I recommend it. And it's only $10. The next one, oh, this eyeshadow stick I really, really love. It's very intense. It's just amazing. I've used it so many times. And the eyeliner, it's it glides on very smoothly, very nice. I'm not too sure how many shades they have, but this is 
my favorite one. And this right here is one of their baked eyeshadow palettes that I was talking about that I don't like because, again, you don't get a lot of pigment. I tried wetting the brush and just taking the product without scraping it off, and it didn't really make a big difference. So this is one of the e.l.f. eyeshadow palettes that I don't reach for. Like I said, I don't have a lot of products that I don't like. The next one is going to be this highlighter stick. This one is gold and I really love it. It glides, it's so smooth. It glides on so good and it's gorgeous. I think they have three different shades, but I love this one. This one's in a shade champagne champagne glow and i love that it's so creamy so smooth but once you like blend it out because i like to blend it out with my finger once i apply it on my skin or i just get some with my finger and apply it like that but it just feels it kind of feels like it turns into a powder kind of i don't know but i love that that makes it super easy to blend out and it just gives you a nice gold glow the next is another highlighter i just i had to mention it here this is one of my favorite highlighters from elf cosmetics these are just very creamy it kind of feels like the their prismatic highlighters that i showed you earlier look at the swatches they're gorgeous i've mentioned it before that this one is i feel like it's too light for me so i either mix these two or i use this one alone oh it's the one uh, in collaboration with heart defensor i don't know if they still have it on their website if they do you should totally get one they are just eight dollars Alright, I guess that is all I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope I didn't I hope you didn't get bored. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of any of the products. And if you are new, please subscribe to my channel and if you guys like this video, give it a big thumbs up. I almost forgot again. Hold on. Today's notification shout out goes to Cindy Coronado. Thank you. Thank you so much for all of your love and support. I love you. If you guys want a notification and if you guys want a shout out, all you have to do is turn on your post notifications and let me know in the comments down below or just comment anything, anything you want and I will give you a shout out in my next English video. Thank you all so much for your love and support. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!